Hey everybody, happy Friday. Welcome to today's update on Daily IoT. On today's episode, I wanna give you an update on the things that I have accomplished this week. I'm really excited about the update because uh, I've gotten some good things done. So let's get right into it. Um, the setup experience for customers. So just a little bit of background here. Uh, we've got these pucks. All the electronics are in it. I'm gonna ship it out to you as a customer. You're going to get it, but it's gonna have a little screen on the back. However, it needs to connect to the internet to be able to fetch the latest stats, whether that's team or player. And to do that, it needs to be able to connect to your local network. So just like when you have a friend or something over that's visiting, it's like, hey, can I get your Wi-Fi password? The puck needs your Wi-Fi password so that it can connect to the internet and fetch stats for you. And so to accomplish that, we need some sort of customer flow that they go through, some process that's intuitive and easy to get them set up so that their puck can connect to their local network, reach out, and grab the stats. And that's what I've been working on this week, and it's turned out really well. And, and to do this, I'm using what's called a soft AP setup. AP stands for access point. And what that means is that the particle P1 module or photon, uh, that's the brains of the puck, can turn itself into an access point, meaning it can broadcast an SSID or network name. Excuse me. And so you can connect directly to it to set up things like prime it with Wi-Fi credentials and things like that. You can do other setup stuff, but right now really it's just the Wi-Fi credentials that I need. Now there's two options for doing that. One is you can host web pages on the P1 module itself. So they're served right up from the P1 uh, like a web server. However, that takes obviously uh, space and memory and things like that that I'm a little short on because I've got things like the screen images and stuff like that. And so the other option is to host it remotely point to it, show the setup experience UI from the cloud, and then when you need to set and send the Wi-Fi credentials to the P1 modules, the script on the back end of that, of that web page, routes to a local host uh, address when you are connected to the puck. And so I feel like that was a little confusing. What happens is you come to the site that's hosted on the internet, and it says, Here's what you need to do. You need to go into your Wi-Fi networks, select the SSID that the puck is broadcasting. It'll be some specific SSID and connect to that. Once you do that, at that point, you're not connected to the internet anymore, but you've already got the web page hosted in your browser and all of the code downloaded to continue going through the setup. But now you're connected to the puck. So you've got your phone here showing the web page, but you're connected to the puck. And at that point, uh, you can have the puck scan for Wi-Fi networks nearby, which is pretty cool. Select yours, enter your password, and hit, um, I can't remember what it is, connect. And what it will do is it will send your credentials directly to the puck. It will program them in here and then connect to your local Wi-Fi, assuming everything uh, went well. And that's really cool. Um, and so you can host that web page, but I, I can't have customers hosting that web page. So where am I going to host it in the cloud? Well, uh, the first thing that I did on this was I put everything up in Amazon S3, their storage solution, and you can do a static website hosting directly from S3, which is pretty cool. The problem with it, however, is that it's HTTP only. It's non-secure. Now, this isn't a really big deal because by the time you're sending credentials to the puck, you're connected to the puck. So you're not sending your password out through the internet. It, you're sending it from your, you know, your phone or your laptop or whatever directly to the puck. So even though it's HTTP, it's still a secure way to do that because you're your password's not leaving uh, your local network. However, there is some sort of like mental block, at least for me, if I don't see that green lock, I'm like, I don't want to put things like my password, my credit card, and things like that. And so I wanted to be able to make that HTTPS. S3 does not support HTTPS hosting by default. However, there's a very simple fix to this, and that's by using another Amazon service called uh, Amazon CloudFront. And uh, what CloudFront does, it's a CDN basically, and it takes those static assets that are in S3, uh, caches them on the edge or whatever you want to call it in the content delivery network, and then can serve them up. In doing that, you can tell it to reroute all requests from HTTP to HTTPS, thereby enabling a full HTTPS green lock experience for the setup UI, which I was really excited about. It took some going CNAME stuff on my uh, DNS settings on my domain, but if you go to setup.mysmartpuck.com, dot com you will see the setup ui for 
the hockey puck product. And so uh, again, I'm calling it the my smart puck or the smart puck for lack of a better name at this point. Uh, but that's what it is. And so that's really cool that I got that up and running at Chase HTTPS and everything's working. I can assign Wi-Fi credentials to the puck and get it connected, which is amazing. I'm really, really excited about that and how well it turned out. And so that was the big thing from this week. Uh, the other thing that I've been working on is as we're getting closer to launch, I need some sort of landing page, some sort of website so that people can find the puck, be interested in it, and then buy it. Send me money and I'll send them a puck. And so uh, I've been working on the landing page for that. I'm gonna throw that up on the screen really quick. Uh, I like how that's coming. I'm using those uh, uh, photorealistic renders that I got of the puck. They should look pretty close to this. Um, and I'll, I'll swap those pictures out when I have actual pucks that I can take good pictures of. So, uh, but for now, that's what I've got. So I'm, I'm hoping to make that go, have that site go live here in the next little bit. And so uh, that's that's what I've been working on this week. I'm really excited uh, how things are coming together and turning out. Just it's really uh, coming along well. And I, I was really worried about the setup experience, but uh, having gone through it a few times myself, I feel like it's very smooth. Um, I'm sure there's going to be kinks to work out in that with different network types, different routers things like that but I will figure those things out as I encounter them with uh, beta testing and things like that and so that is the update for today I hope everybody's had an amazing week question of the day um, it's summer here in the United States um, how's your summer going anything fun going on how's you know kids are out of school for me so there's kind of extra noise around the house got a plan my filming time so I don't have screaming and running and pounding but how is your summer going or if you're in some other part of the world I know I have viewers all around and it's uh, whatever season you're in how is your current season treating you stick it in the comments below would love to hear from you otherwise thank you so much for watching daily IOT the show where together we're learning how to make the internet of things one day at a time